Hey y'all, this is Casey from Pizzazz. Um, we are going to start doing a cool thing on the blog where I just do uh, little fun activities that you can do at home. This is going to be for maybe some of my art students if y'all want to do some things at home, homeschool kids that if you want to, you know, try art but you don't have time to fit it into your schedule, um, you can follow along with us every week. We're going to be doing something new and fun. Uh, classroom teachers, you can use these ideas. They're, um, I'm going to try to do some really simple, not really in depth, but just simple, fun art activities because I think there's just not enough art in the world so um this one is a super simple kind of a mod podge really stretches your creativity because i'm not it's not super step by step you are going to start with a piece of wood this is old scrap this one is not even um like a regular shape it's uh just old scrap um we've got paper so wood old paper any paper we have scrapbook paper we've got tissue paper you probably have this laying around in you know old gift bags we've got this we bought this at the craft store but it's kind of burlappy um so really you could almost even use like old um old clothes old jeans um anything that's thin enough that you can kind of decoupage onto um onto the wood uh more scrapbook paper construction paper whatever any kind of paper um and then so you got wood paper an old brush not your best favorite new brush because this is going to be used with um, Mod Podge and it just is kind of is glue so um, this is a special Mod Podge sparkly Mod Podge I like it just because it's sparkly um, so what you do with this it's so simple you are just going to lay down a coat of Mod Podge you're going to build your background first and right now I have no clue what I'm even going to do I'm just going to kind of have fun letting it create itself um because it's my background i am going to try to keep somewhat solid ish colors i know this is not completely solid but it's not a ton of fighting colors so it's just this yellow and i'm just going to kind of place it and then so you put the mod podge under and then on top that's important and all of this is just going to be like torn pieces so like i need i need a little bit more right in here i'll just tear it Mod Podge went under it, and it will go over it. Now, I'm not about to make you do watch me do this whole thing because these are gonna the point of these are quick, fun, to the point little messages. They're not gonna be like a you know an hour long art class. If you want an hour long art class, sign up. We got them going on here at Pizzazz, but um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna show you everything. But you see how I'm starting my background. Um, so you'll start your background, and then the you get creative with it now to i know you're thinking okay well i need a little guidance i'm going to show you what some of my students did just to give you um some ideas this one was super cool she um did you know as you can see the yellow sand different colors of blue not just plain solid because variety is cool um with this she even let some of the tissue paper kind of come off of the wood um and then these little embellishments believe it or not um they stuck on, not with Mod Podge, actually. We use Triple Thick. Um, triple Thick also dries clear. The Mod Podge looks really white and milky when you first go on, but it, give it a little bit of time, it'll dry. Um, triple Thick does the same thing. Triple Thick is really a good glue, a bonding agent. Um, you don't. Most people don't always use it for that. They use it just to make things shine or whatever. Um, but anyway, that is how we applied these. I don't know if you can see how... 3D those are. But um, anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this one is not finished. One of my students is working on this currently, um, but you can kind of see where she's going with it. She just started again with kind of one shade of background, different types of the yellow paper, but you know, she kind of just picked that. And then these, again, are the tissue paper that's 3D. So um, she just, you know, put the Mod Podge under, blobbed it over, and because it's the glitter Mod Podge, can y'all see it glittering? We like it. And this is another one, just super simple watermelon. There's really so many possibilities. I'll try to post a few more that some of my kids did just to give you some ideas. But um, anyway, so quick review of like, okay, I want to get started. So what do I need? Mod Podge, old brush, any kind of paper. And I say wood, but uh, it doesn't really have to be wood. I just think this is um, because you're laying layers on top of each other. You could obviously do this on paper or cardboard. I just like the, the thickness of wood, the sturdiness of wood. Just adds a little extra something something but if you don't have any wood laying around you know and you think that you don't have any cardboard you got cardboard go find an old cereal box and you know cut the front off and the back of it is you know a clean piece of cardboard so um anyway hope that you um have fun i would love if you can um post up underneath this in the comments and see show me what you've done all right see y'all next time